Dead end road. 5 a.m. Tail lights. Wondering why. What? Yeah, have no idea. Maybe they're coming down here for the same reason as me. Maybe not, because there's not too much bank access. When I first saw them, they were over here in this parking lot. I don't know what they're doing. Okay, now we're going to be head to head. Why do you need your bright lights on? I feel like just to avoid the lights, I should do something evasive, but they're coming. Crap, are you coming right at me? <sighs> A lot of people come here, obviously they see the sign. I don't think they know that it means you can't get on the bridge because they get on the bridge anyway. I do not because I would never film myself trespassing nor am I the kind of person who trespasses. Well, if there are posted signs, don't go past them, right? If it's not posted, you're not in the wrong because you didn't cross a fence, right? If you climb over a fence, you're in the wrong. If there's no line of demarcation and there are no posted signs, go accordingly until someone tells you otherwise. But we could go accordingly down along the side here. I know for a fact that we'll just be coming right back up because it is overgrown and choked right now. And I see some alien eyes staring back at me. They're like green. Welcome back to M Hood Fishing. How about this? Start out on a bike, end up on a kayak. So I ran into my good friend Karen at a spot and he said, hey, do you want to use my yak this morning to get in front of the bridge? Yesterday morning he was catching sockele here. Water's kind of dirty because they pumped yesterday. So should be able to do something out here. There's a lot of fish feeding sun came up a while ago i've been out since before pre-dawn and i only caught that cichlid that we opened up with there's fish moving around let's get let's get let's get going this is what i started the morning with and we're, we will continue with it it's by big bites it's a shark avocado chartreuse curly tail on a 1 ounce jig head I want a little more depth, maybe about two and a half to almost three feet to start. Just to start. We may change it. He's been catching them for the past few days here. But in front of the bridge, not on this side. We're between the pumping station and the bridge. So opposite side is where he's been catching, but as I was getting ready to open up, I drifted over here and I noticed there's more shade on the water right now and feeding over here. But honestly, I think there's gar, very active. Let's start over here before anything, just cause I'm ready to get started. There is fish activity underneath this bridge, but the deepest bit of water here is actually in front, not behind. When you come underneath this bridge and work your way to the pumping station, which is behind us, it shallows up fast. We have a good depth in front of the bridge. I think about like 10 feet. 
and we've got structure right we've got wood not just the bridge itself but we, in front of the bridge especially on this side that where we're looking right we've got wood under the water trees old dead fall i took the cork off Found ya! Yeah! I had to go around a little bit, around in some circles. They're not, well, they might be in front of the bridge, but they're definitely on this side. I see some feeding that tells me they're here. He's kind of small, I'm not gonna keep him. Nice. They are definitely in front of the bridge. I had to go back to bouncing the jig. Not very big, I'm gonna let that one go. We're at that point of the morning where the wind is picking up. There is a 40% chance of rain in the forecast today. But we're, we're pretty much at that point where I think a lot of Sakale are holding. So in front of this bridge is where it is deep, about a 10, 10 to 12 foot depth out in the middle. And let me see if I can angle. I'm fighting the wind right now and refusing to tie off or use this little anchor. There are pylons like this one right here set at an angle here we go see them I just picked that last sock off of this pylon here very tricky I have fished this from a yak before so I'm going to throw out in front of them not right on top of them some of these pylons have other wood around them like the one that i'm positioned on right now and behind me here we go what did we pick up is that a sock yeah i found them i didn't even have a fish finder now that one's good let's go ahead and keep this one and probably get a few more like that Ooh. Come on, settle down. See, this wind is just <laughs> squirrely. I'm squirrely. Wow, what a fighter. Oh, this is a nice one. Look at the size of that one. Finally getting into good keepers. Nice. I wasn't finding them over here at first, but I think, like I said, we're at that point where they want to hold on stuff. They're done getting scattered and racing around. What's that, four? Four fish so far tough at first but now I think it's just almost like shooting fish in a barrel but I want to try right here to the right of me to this side I'll try to angle but we're probably not gonna see it you'll just have to imagine to the right of me it's a little shallower so I don't expect much and there's extra wood I need to, I really, I just need to cast in the same, oh, but I'm, I've kind of got my anchor deployed, but not in the water. I've got it in this brush to just keep me held here. I don't think this little anchor would hold if I put it in the bottom, so I'm kind of using it as a shitty brush clamp. All right. Again, just, oh, that, the wind messed me up. That could be bad. Come out of there. Oh, 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 oh. 
There we go. <laughs> the wind. Let's try it without a nibble. That time the wind didn't mess me up as bad, but we're kind of we're in a funky position. Let's see if we catch without a nibble. Some people they they get the idea that it's just the nibble and they try fishing the nibble on just a bare hook and yeah you'll catch fish like that but the nibble along with the bait like this makes such a great combination works so much better if you go with the combination of a, a bait and a nibble rather than thinking you don't have to buy the soft plastics and you could just use the nibbles There are times when you don't really need the nibble when they're feeding that good, but this is kind of like reaction strikes. So I picked up three in the same area. Will I just keep hitting them consecutively? Possible, but I don't know. I feel like I need to reposition the yak and I don't know how much time we have it's kind of like a he just got off work and was doing a quick one wanted to go home do some S's and come back out so he could show up any minute he just got hit by a Scottish gale oh that's really picking up too I have to find a way to stay stable here. I think we're gonna have to tie off. I already got the, we're gonna use the anchor line. We're probably still gonna get bounced around here. Nice one. Got him on the drop. I was snagged and then I got it loose. And so now I'm just kind of drifting and catching. And that's another nice one. Nice size. Bigger than the first two that I caught. Look at that. Awesome. Whoa, they're coming up slabs here. Look at the size of that. Oh my goodness. Whoa, whoa, settle down, buddy. Okay. Wow. Feels like a pound. Even though I'm not sure how much time I have as far as my friend coming back goes, I think this wind might make me call it because the wind is, the wind is picking up. The wind is something right now, but I, I might be able to get another one before it's all said and done. Let's see. I'm sure the wind is like crazy loud on the audio right now. It's making just this, making the fishing a little difficult. I didn't really feel the bite on that last one. The bait is about dead anyway. It's kind of tore up. So instead of putting a fresh bait on it, I might just call it because this wind let me tell you. Oh no. 
At first it felt like I was snagged. Another decent one, not as big as that last one, but on a trashed bait. The bait is really trashed. The jig head has been through some wood and who knows what. That's pretty decent. Oh, there's somebody fishing from the bridge now. Oh, oh, what is, what is going on here? Oh. The little guy. Nice one. Hit it like, whoa, just. It's like the bottom was pulling back. That is a decent one right there. Look at that. Look how trash this bait is getting in and still catching. The hook is bent. I keep doing this this is a very thin wire hook it can be bent out it helps to pull out of snags the bait's all wonky tore up about to get tore off i want to call it because of this wind but i don't want to call it because of the fish biting before i ran into karen this morning I was trying to get into this spot, bushwhack, try to see if I could get access without getting on this bridge, without trespassing. And I just had to throw in the towel and go do other things. And then all of a sudden, Kieran was like, hey, do you want to use the yak? And so, yeah, sometimes, sometimes you just don't get access. If it wasn't for all this growth, ah, oh, we just missed one. If it wasn't for all this growth and other things, uh, if it wasn't for a trespass, oh, look, look at this. If it wasn't for that posted sign, I think back in the day, see that? Back in the day, you could just fish off this bridge, no problem. Jig head looks fine. Let's go ahead and put on another bait. I know it's really windy, but I'm still catching, so. All right, that's it. Let's get out of here. All right, let's do a final count here because I stopped counting. So there's one slab, two slabs. Some of these aren't, almost looks like a white crappie. One's lighter than the other, but they're all black. Oh, that's a big one. Yeah. Some are kind of small, so that's three. That's four. Hey, let me get them out. Well, might might just be five. There's nope six. I think a couple of these I could have let go, but they're just right there on the border of uh, being keepers, right? That one's a slab. But this one, yeah. This one's got some shoulders. Look how thick. It's gonna be some nice fillets, and then. That, that one right there in front of them. Wow. Yeah. I let go like three or four because they were too small. A good day. Yeah. Were you trying to get wet? Yeah. Yeah, you're right. So, feels like we've got a storm coming through. We do possibly have some rain coming maybe. But yeah, you're right. Thanks to Karen. <laughs> Wow, Unex unexpected slab session here. Wow, I knew, he told me they were out there, but, oh man, it seems like the only way to get to them if you're not on the yak or some other kind of lightweight boat is to trespass. <laughs> yeah, lots of people do, but I don't, because I'm filming. So, yeah, you're right. Hey, thanks for watching, liking, sharing, commenting subscribing being a member of the channel and yeah i'll see you next time